Hi everybody, Janie here, welcome back. So today we are at one of my favorite places in the whole wide world and that is the plant store. And this is Green Acres in Elk Grove, uh, just south of Sacramento. And it is one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. <laughs> it's just, this is where I went for my birthday and you know, it's just some place that I love going to just because it, it's just lovely. You go inside and you see flowers, you know, and all this beautiful plants and stuff like that. So I just, I love going here. So Jason and I were talking and um, I told him that I wanted to underplant some of the daffodils that I have in the front yard because I know those daffodils are going to fade and I wanna have some color there because I wanna leave those daffodils. Um, and for daffodils to come back the next year, you need to leave the leaves on and let the leaves totally, um, you know, like die out and kind of get a little bit of yellow, if not even a little bit of brown. So I wanted to have some color there still while I'm letting those daffodil leaves soak in all the sun that they need. And so we thought we'd run here. We'd, um, I'm thinking about like pansies or violas or something like that, but I'll just have to look and see what they have. So let's go in and check it out. that is with the birds what do you think isn't that cute Pretty. I like that one my pollinators need some water so I gotta get something for this year they got lots of stuff to look at I love those It's not like the Campania International one that I want, the, the concrete one, but it's pretty. Hmm. And then we have some chickens. I don't think this really goes with my style, but they're pretty cute. I guess it's a rooster, huh? Look at all their string of pearls. Holy moly, that's a lot. I remember when I couldn't find these anywhere. We've got all the tomatoes. I'm not, I don't even think I'm supposed to be over here. This is the side. This is the plants before they put them all out. I always sneak over here and see what they're about to put out <laughs> and expect that I'm gonna get told to go away. Here's a little sneak peek. I want to do a flower box for my neighbor and she loves bright colors. So I saw these begonias, it's gonna be a full shade flower box. I'll do a video on it and you guys can see it. But I saw these here and they're beautiful. So I usually don't put a lot of red in my garden, but I think that she will love it. Um, her kitchen is kind of red. She used to have red cabinets. Um, she painted some of them white, but there's still a lot of red cabinets. So I know she likes red. And then I was thinking about getting some purple to go underneath it. But we're not doing that today. We gotta look for something to go underneath the daffodils. I'm getting distracted. Spanish lavender that we usually see, this beautiful deep purple color. And as I'm walking, there's this color that's kind of like a light lavender. It's called Winter Bee. And then you keep going, and there's a pink called With Love. Never seen this before. And then finally, a white called Javelin Forte White. Isn't that crazy? Every time I come here, I see something different. Hi, 
Hi everyone. Okay, so it's a couple days later. You know, we came back from the plant store and then had to go, you know, do a bunch of other stuff. So it's um, a new morning. It's a beautiful morning. It's gonna get about 70 degrees today. So it's a great day uh, for planting. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll show you guys what I got. I gave you guys a little sneak peek when I was at the plant store, but I got so many beautiful purple pansies that I think are gonna be absolutely gorgeous with the daffodils. So let me show you. Okay, so just to recap, here's my daffodil border. It's absolutely beautiful right now in full bloom. And then right over here are all the pansies that I got. Won't that be beautiful with the yellow daffodils? I did a little bit of a version of this last year, not as many. <laughs> There's a ton here, and these are called Majestic Giants 2 Deep Blue or Blotch. So just kind of, it's a Kawahara Nurseries. That's a grower kind of over by me. So kind of just generic pansies, but I think that they will look really beautiful. And like I was saying, for daffodils, I wanna leave these in and let them um, naturalize and perennialize in my garden. And so what I have to do is once the flowers are done blooming and they kind of die off, then I'll just come through and I'll cut them down. But then I have to leave the leaves here for, you know, I don't know how long, a couple weeks or something like that so that the leaves can soak in all the sun and get enough energy for the bulb to bloom again next year 2023 so what I need to do is I need to leave them here I figured I could put these in and that could give me some nice beautiful color while there's still all these leaves here soaking in all the sun so that's my plan for this morning, just to get all these pansies planted. And I wanted to tell you guys, cause I got a couple comments about it um, over the, my last couple planting videos about using a starter fertilizer. And I just wanted you guys to know that I do use a starter fertilizer. I use EB Stone Sure Start. This is just the one that we have available to us in California. I mean, you know, you can get Biotone and other stuff as well, but this is, this is the one that they sell at my local garden center. And I like it, I think it works really well. So what I do, instead of carrying around that huge bag, I just put it in this cute little white bucket and then I just put a pinch of that in every single hole that I plant my flowers in. Um, so I think that this stuff is really great. If you guys haven't watched my fertilizing video, watch it, because I talk about why uh, using starter fertilizer is so important for the roots um, and the development and the health of your plant. Um, so I will be planting the pansies, putting a little pinch of this in each hole, and um, let's go. So I've got them all placed and put in spots where I want to plant them. It's so funny, I thought I had so many and then I put them in here and it looks like I didn't get enough. I think I got enough. So now all I have to do is plant them. not wearing earphones, not listening to music, you know, just being with my own thoughts. It's like 
meditation, if that makes sense. I just, I absolutely love it. So it was such a nice, peaceful morning and I'm glad I could bring you guys along with me. So, um, so whenever I pant, pant, plant pansies, I always feel like I just torture them. I'll like put them into the ground and then one of their heads will fall off. <laughs> so they're looking a little iffy right now, but they're, you know, with the warm weather coming up and I put some sure start in the holes, I think that they're just going to go crazy really soon. So let me show you guys the final product. All right. So you can see just dotted in between all the daffodils are the purple pansies and they look so cute. Like I said, they look kind of wimpy wussy right now i'll have to go through and water them of course but um i think that they'll look really pretty and they'll give this area some color once i have to cut off all the daffodils and leave the leaves so just thinking ahead just making sure that i do have some color until i have a chance to put in my summer annuals and there's a nice shot of the whole thing and my road narrow sign <laughs> I mean, you just, you gotta love it. <laughs> Corner lot problems. <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing and I hope you all get a chance to get out into your garden today. 